Greetings, Zero here. Welcome back to the shiny only fire model type run of Fire Red Canto Complete. Last time, we honestly didn't accomplish much productive, but this time we need to grind a bit to get ready for Sabrina. Now you may wonder, why is it I'm back in Pallet Town? Well, the answer is, there's something over here that I should be able to access now that I have Surf. Of course, it's hidden, but you walk through there, and... Okay, quarter of a million yen. Uh, I don't think I have that much money. Well, that's awfully convenient, because we're going to need to be grinding a lot anyway. And, well, we'll be making a lot of money by the Versus Seeker anyway. So, uh, I guess I'll be right back. Time to get these out. Alright, now we've got the money we need, and then some. Let's try this again, shall we? Go up here. Nobody asked you. Yeah, here's your bribe, bitch. Hmm. Yeah, note this is normally the music you hear after you've beaten the champion stuff. What do you normally find? Ooh, okay. Well, this might be a good place to grind then. Uh. Note to self. The Pokemon here are very, very strong. In fact, I think that's about on par with Lance's Pokemon when you fight him in the Elite Four. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff here, and I guess this is where we're going to be grinding for the Battle of Sabrina. Give me a bit. Okay, so we come down here, and there's a couple of old guys, I guess. What are they here for? Uh, you can't talk to them? Okay, whatever. I don't get it either. Okay, so now the whole team is level 55, which might actually still be a little under level. But, well, I take on Sabrina. But first, we got a bunch of trainers to take out on the way. We are going to battle all of them. Once again, you can't after they're all beaten. Well, after, after you get the gym badge, you can't, so, yeah. Whoop. No, don't mean to do that yet. Didn't mean to create a safe state there, I just hit the hockey by mistake. It happens. Alright, well let's swap real quick. Actually, we're gonna swap to you, because you have hidden power bug type. Never mind. 
Because I want to take on all the trainers that are here first. Like, did I miss... Have I taken on everyone yet? I don't think I'm... I don't know if I have. Well, all I know is that I want to get it. I think I'm going to want to get out of here. Yep. Anyways, let's go back and heal. I'll be right back. Okay, we're starting off with Yarm here, because, well, Psychotype Gem. He'll be immune to Psychic Attacks. So we go from there to here. And then it's... Is it here? And, oh. There was the one I didn't take on earlier. Well, this will be easy. All right, now we've beaten everyone. Nope, not that one. Here? Uh, ah. Well, fuck you too! Smartass. Anyways, be right back. Now, after healing again, let's try this again. It's it over here and here. Nope. Uh, no, not this one. And then I think it's this one. No. I'll figure it out eventually. There it is. All right. Here we go. Okay. We're actually going to use Sunny Day. In case I need to use a fire type attack. Wait, no Alakazam? Well, okay, that was very underwhelming. Well, uh... Hmm. And that should be Calm Mind. Let's see, did any of my Pokemon learn it? I don't think so. Good move, but... Nope, none of them learn it. Oh well. Hmm. What are we gonna do next? Alright, how about this? So, yeah, I went off over here to get some more balls. But, I had exactly 9 minutes and 1 second of footage recorded, so let's go to the power plants. We catch Zapdos there, although we're not really gonna use it for much. It's more about HMs. Oh, no, not each other, just items. Oh, yeah, it was this guy, too. Told you, Tick. Now, there's a Pokemon that's kind of underrated. It's actually way better than, than you might think, because, well... I mean, granted, Toja Kiss is better still, but... Even in Gen 3, well, let me put it this way. Serene Grace plus something like Ancient Power... And other moves of secondary effects, really good. Oh, by the way, uh, so this place is, like most places in the Pokemon games, based on a real location. In this case, it's based on the Tokai Nuclear Power Station, which was Japan's first nuclear power plant. It was powered, it, last I checked, it has, was it two reactors there, maybe three? I know that one of them is offline, it's an old Magnox reactor that's a gas-cooled, graphite-moderated reactor of British design. Those of you who may have heard of the Windscale Piles and the Windscale Fire, you'll have a vague idea of what those are like. Actually, no, those aren't Magnox, but the Magnox reactors were developed at Windscale. Um... But the other is, I think, a pressurized water reactors, more modern type. 
It was supposed to be decommissioned, but then the uh, Fukushima Daiichi incident occurred, and I believe they had to keep it online to make up for the slack. We're just going to make our way through here. Oh, Pichu. Nope. TM-36, that's, uh... Sludge Bomb! Hmm. Now, none of the Pokemon that are with me can learn it. Nope. Yeah, there are some trap balls here, which are either Voltorb or Electrode. Ooh, shiny! Oh, I got one of these. Alright. Oh, and if, in case you need any confirmation that this is based on nuclear power plant, look at those waste barrels. Uh, yeah, those are similar to the barrels that are used to hold spent nuclear fuel. Although the yellow barrels aren't the ones you gotta worry about. It's the silver barrels. Those hold the really radioactive shit. The stuff in the yellow barrels, that's largely safe. You could be in the same room with it. Wait a second. What's that? Oh! Shiny Voltorb. Oh, I got one. Alright, oh, okay, well. I thought the entrance to that was over there. Never mind. Oh, you picked something up. Okay, you know what? Be right back. Well, hello there, shiny Minectric. Yeah, I got a fuck ton of Safari Balls. Again, they basically count as great balls at all, but nay. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Get in the fucking ball. Get in the ball, you twat! Fine! Be that way. Alright, now we'll see what's in this room. TM-15, that's, uh... Hyper Beam! Which is a physical move in Gen 3. Hmm, I might teach it. Might not. And a Firestone! A Shiny Pichu! A.K.A. yet another Pokémon that is almost indistinguishable from the non-Shiny version. And we'll call you, uh... We'll call you Yellow. After the chick from the manga. Yeah, that was a plot twist back when the character was introduced in the Adventures manga. Yell's a girl. Although, at the age that she was at in the book, the only way you would know was by her hair, which, well... At that point, she was wearing a hat where you couldn't see it, and then it came off at some point. Actually, I take it back. Yellow was actually introduced before that particular arc. She showed up at one point in... Red Gabe or something? Ooh, shiny electrode! Now, this I'm not too worried about, because... I may be like, oh, is it gonna explode? Nope. It shouldn't know self-destruct yet. I think it learns it at level 30 in Gen 3. 
Now, if this were Gen 1 or Gen 2, I'd be worried because it can learn it at level 23, I think. And you, well, called the Voltorb, little boy. What do you think we're going to call this one? Yep, it's Fat Man. Now we're coming up on the ends. And nobody asked you! And there's Zapdos. Hmm, should I reset for a shiny? Let me see. Hmm. You know what? Yeah, why the hell not? Fuck it. If it were Moltres, yes, I would be resetting, but... Nah. Well, let's just do this. Alright, that's good. Now, SPAM! You're gonna run out of power points before I run out of balls. The only downside is because, of course, we use fire types. None of them learn any moves that can put things to sleep. So, uh, yeah. As a result, catching this is gonna be very expensive. Uh oh. God damn it, flame body! Take two. Alright, that should be weak enough. Now, spam, 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 spam. Again, you're gonna run out of these long before I do. Oh, fuck off! Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, why am I wasting my time on this? I could buy Master Balls! Get in the ball, you fucking idiot. But yeah, you're gonna be T-Bird. Because that's what you are. Anyways. Um... But yeah, you want to know the ultimate way to flip the bird at somebody? It's called the Thunderbird. You do it by flipping somebody off with both hands, but timing it with a lightning strike. Hard to do, but awesome if you pull it off. And here's a hard scale. Coming out the side takes us out over here. Back in Gen 1, it would just deposit you at the front door. Anyways, I think we're going to call it here. If you like what you see, like, comment, subscribe. Check out my Rumble page, and I will see you all next time.